my channel. So today's makeup tutorial will be on this peachy burgundy eye look. I don't even know what to call it, but I'm obsessed with it. The fact that it's somewhat sultry and smoky without adding too much dark colors, if that makes sense. I didn't add any black to the lid color at all. It's mainly just like burnt red oranges and that peachy tone on the lid. This look is all matte. I've been obsessing over matte tones too, so don't ask. I was just going with it and this is what I came up with. We did a fierce wing because I wanted the wing to be very bold and stand out. So that's kind of what I ended up with. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before taking off today and like this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. So before we jump right into this tutorial, let me quick mention that I'm going to go ahead and film a Q&A video for you guys next. So please make sure to leave all of your questions down below in the comment box. Ask me whatever your little heart desires. I will answer that for you guys in my next video. So let me quit chit chatting over here and let's get into the tutorial. So to begin, I'm just taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and I'm applying that all the way up to my brow bone and blending it out with my finger. Now I'm taking the shade Tempera, which is from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to apply this to the entire eye area all the way up to the brow bone just to make sure that everything is set and it makes blending so much easier. So now I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and I'm going to apply this into the crease and work this in circular motions. We're using this as our transition color so that all the rest of the colors blend out seamlessly. So now I'm going to take the shade Realgar and I'm going to go ahead and apply that directly into the crease below the transition color. So we're focusing this strictly in the fold of the eye so we can create more depth and intensify the color. I mentioned these brushes on my Instagram post and I told you guys I would keep you updated on my thoughts. This is my first time using them and I absolutely love these brushes. This one in particular is my absolute favorite. It is more of a precision blending brush. It deposits the perfect amount of color and blends out as well. It is my new favorite blending brush. Now I'm taking my shade Red Ochre and I'm going to go ahead and place that right into the crease to add a little bit more depth. This is going to be the darkest shadow we're going to add and I'm going to continue building this until it is the intensity that I want it. So for the lid color, I'm taking two Makeup Geek shadows and mixing them using Tuscan Sun and Beaches and Cream on the inner corner. For liner, I'm taking my NYC Black Liquid Liner and I always start by drawing that first line, extending that out, and then pulling it back in and connecting to the corner of my eye. That helps so that I know how thick my wing will be, therefore knowing how thick to make the line on the lid. So for lashes, I'm taking my Dodo Lashes in the number D115. On top of those, I stacked on the Salon Perfect 614 lashes. This has been my current lash combo. I'm into stacking lately. This creates a really nice wispy lash. For complexion, I'm priming my skin with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I'm just applying that with a damp beauty blender. And then for foundation, I'm taking the CoverFX Natural Finish Foundation in the shade G50. We're just going to apply this all over the face with our damp beauty blender and building up the coverage. Once again, I'll link down my current foundation routine if you want an in-depth tutorial on that. So now it's time to highlight and conceal. For today's look, I felt like using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen in the shade Light Boost. We're going to apply that under our eyes, our nose, our chin, and forehead, anywhere we want to highlight. This gives a little bit of coverage, so I just wanted to use this mainly for a highlighter to brighten up. Now I know sometimes some people might be a little intimidated by layering products. I will say that this product in particular is super lightweight, so it doesn't look cakey when you layer it with a concealer. Just to throw that out there. Now to conceal, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Concealer and I'm just applying a tiny bit of this. Well, not really a tiny, I'm not going to lie, it looks like a lot. <laughs> but I'm going to apply some of this under my eyes just to conceal any darkness. I'm not bringing that down because I've highlighted already and I'm good with the coverage that gave me. So in my last video, I mentioned I tried the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. I'm giving it another shot because I don't want to judge something without 
using it a few times so that's what I'm doing here my thoughts are still the same I don't love it so that's why I take, I'm taking the Ben Nye banana powder which I do absolutely love and I'm setting the rest of my face because this neutralizes me and matches me perfectly so now taking a bronzing brush from the peach Bellini collection also from pretty bar and I'm going to bronze the skin and I'm just using my elf contour and blush palette I will list the exact name down below Here I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm going to kind of cut the contour a little bit to make it a little bit more defined and sculpted. I like doing it with this product because this one matches my complexion better and that way there's no line of demarcation from the face to the neck. For blush I'm taking MAC Peaches and I'm popping that right on. And then I'm trying a new product which is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and I'm going to pop that onto the cheekbone area. Then with my damp beauty blender, I tried blending this out, but it was not popping. It was not cute. So I went ahead and just took my finger and just started blending that out. I think the warmth of your finger helps to move the product a little easier. So that worked out a lot better. Here I'm just taking Laura Geller's Gilded Honey and I'm popping that on right to the cheekbone over top of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This intensifies it if you're a fan of that glow lit from within glow so definitely recommend layering those two to finish off our complexion I'm just taking some Evian facial spray and drenching our face for liner I'm taking the Inglot gel liner number 77 directly into the waterline and guys I am totally aware that my hair looks like pinches pelos de lote over here but I don't know what was happening I could not get my hair to stay it was frizzy it was crazy and it was messy so I apologize bear with me whenever you want to smoke out the lower lash line you will have to remember to take a very small detailed brush and smooth out the edges of your black liner you do not want any harsh lines you want everything to be blended seamlessly so for this part I didn't want to fast forward it I want you guys to see kind of the gist of how I do the Arabic liner in the inner corner For my lips, I'm taking MAC Peach Stock, and I had already lined my lips with the NARS Salsa Lip Liner. And with a brush, I'm just going to smooth out the edges so there's no line of demarcation. See what I'm talking about? Look at that frizzy ass hair just popping in from the back. I'm sorry guys. For lip gloss, I'm taking the Bite Beauty Honey Lip Gloss. To finish off this entire look, I'm going to add one coat of mascara, and that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys next time.